You will literally destroy your email list if you don't follow the advice in this video. Literally destroy your email list. How do I know? Because of experience. I've been doing this stuff now for, I've been building an email list of some kind or another for almost 20 years. And most people don't understand the real purpose of an autoresponder. And I was no different in the beginning. Um, you know, when I first started building lists, I just thought you built the list and I set up follow-up emails and now to responder and I started broadcasting to those leads and the open click-through rate was great for a, you know, a while and it started to slowly go down, down, down and pretty soon uh, it got really terrible and pretty soon you think that autoresponder sucks because you have now destroyed your open and click-through rate. Uh, you destroyed your email deliverability and most people because they don't have a clue of how what an autoresponder's actual purpose is, 95% of people who build their list destroy their reach of how many people that could be opening and clicking on their links and their emails and buying their stuff or joining them in an opportunity because they absolutely destroy, the, they don't have a clue how an autoresponder works. And I'm going to help you uh, understand that so that you don't make the same mistakes like we did early on. So on the screen here, you see some open rates and click-through rates, like this open rate here, 95.5%, 81.8%, here's one 36.8%, 10.5%, 55.6% open rate, 16.7%, click-through rate, 37.5% open rate, 18.8% click rate, average open rate 40%, average click rate 24%. Now that is on our 30 day email series. So when people opt in to get more information about our great life business that we're building or we import leads into that sequence, what happens is this is the average after 30 days, okay? So that's the accumulation of all the email people are people going through that list at, at the end of the 30-day cycle, that is the average. Now, we'll do things to even bring that up because what we'll do with, with the, the goal of that autoresponder, one of the purposes, of course, is the test subject lines. You know, so you got your 30-day email sequence. You can see which email subject lines we're not getting the open rate. So then we will tweak those ones and we will see the ones that are getting the highest open rates. We will leave those, of course, the same. And then the ones with the lowest click-through rate in that 30-day email sequence, we will tweak the call to action that have the lowest click-through rate to see if we can bring those up. The other ones that are high, you know, we're not gonna correct any over 10%, you know, alter them. Any over 10% we're gonna leave. Um, you know, you get any under 10%, we're definitely gonna tweak those call to actions. And I'm talking about the click-through rate. You know, we wanna stay in the high 20s on that email sequence. It'll, normally people see them start really high and then they go lower the longer they're on the list. Well, we have emails that pop up super high through that 30 days as well. This is just a sampling. You know, we have 30, day, 30 days worth of emails in ours. Some people only send one email every two weeks. <laughs> Don't do that, that's dumb. Uh, some people will send one one every day email. We send in the first 30 days, one every single day. That is part of the email sequence. And we learn to do this to use the autoresponder for its full purpose, which is to sort. And I'm gonna explain the rest of that right now. So after the 30 days, if you have people on the list as your leads are coming through and they've gone through the full 30 days, you want to see who the open and clickers are and who isn't. And the ones that are not opening your emails at all, you delete those after they go through the 30-day email sequence. Under no circumstance do you broadcast emails to the people on that list that are going through the 30-day email series. Okay, and that's your opening email series that they opt in or you import people into. You do not broadcast to them because it's the purpose of the autoresponder is to get rid of your dead weight. That's the real purpose. 
So the ones who do not open a single one of your emails, you delete. That's what we do. We delete because if you want to keep opening click-through rates like average of 40% and over 50% then click on a link in your email like this right here, including in your broadcast, sometimes higher than that, you get rid of the bad ones, the ones that have no interest in what you have. Maybe they put in a uh, email address that they never go into, whatever. You delete those after they get through your email sequence for th after 30 days. They're gone. Forget about them. And then if you also have any bad emails that look like this one, I just grabbed one. Um, that I got a notification for that came in, I don't know, a few days ago, but I deleted it, but I saved it for this video, is the person's name is J-I-T-A-J-C-M-K-Q-M-E-H-G-O-X-A-D. See, this is either a bot drilling your list, because that happens, and there are also spam email addresses that there's the spam uh, police They want to make sure you're not spamming, where you'll get put in your domain will get on a blacklist because you fall into a spam box because they purposely opt in with a spam email address is what they call it. And when you get in there, your domain, your reputation is going to go to crap because you're going to get on blacklists. When you see bad email addresses like this and that they're junk, you delete them. And you can tell, trust me. You know, if you see an email address that is like alv8367810 vok at outlook.com, garbage. Get rid of it. And especially when the name, they don't even put in a name. And this isn't even somebody from another country. This You can just tell by looking at it that it's bad. Okay? You delete those. And that's basically, I actually went to the wrong screen there, but that's okay. So that's basically... Um, the purpose, the real purpose of an autoresponder is to keep your list clean and get rid of the openers and clickers after 30 days. Do not broadcast to them. You set up your email sequence, they go through it, and then you sort them according to non-openers, deleted. And of course, as you, if you see bad email addresses that are absolute garbage, you know, most time a normal autoresponder will have functions to unsubscribe bad ones, but sometimes they do not because sometimes somebody puts in a real email address, but they they do it just to try to hurt you in some way. There are people that do that, and there are bots set up to do that, believe it or not. And that's why it's so important today to keep your autoresponder clean and know the real purpose. You only broadcast them to the opening clickers after that 30 days. You move them into another list, and that becomes your broadcast list. These are the people you're going to continue to follow up with because those are the ones who are engaged with you. It's all about being engaged with you. And then you broadcast to that list, but you never broadcast to the people that are going through your 30-day email sequence that is the intro to you. And if they're not ever interested in opening, clicking on emails, delete them. Okay? That is what is going to set you up for email marketing success and keep your list clean. And it's going to make you a whole heck of a lot more money. Always keep your email list clean, even if you're importing. If you import a list like, you know, with our Great Life business, our company provides us with a CSV file. and We can import those leads. Again, I delete all the bad ones. But when I import them for Great Life, then again, they go through the 30-day sequence. And then after that, I delete them if they don't open none of the emails because it's imperative to keep your list clean. If you want to make the maximum amount of money from your follow-up and have great deliverability, now that you understand the uh, real purpose of an autoresponder and what it can do for your business and your deliverability and all of that. So other than that, my friends, make sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, let me pop over here to the channel. Um, I put out a lot of how-to videos on different things. Like right now, I'm going through and uh, making a series about how to get 10,000 website visitors a day. And I literally share on my screen and go through multiple different ways to drive traffic to eventually get you 10,000 website visitors a day coming to your offer. And I've been teaching our Great Life members this and 
our subscribers and whatever you're promoting you can use this series uh, to follow along with and other than that my friends I hope you have a great day and we'll see you on another video